Hi, uh, we have been discussing um, about the deadlock when it comes to today's spectrum usage. First of all, do you think if there is a deadlock? Um, There's certainly a deadlock. Um, the I, and, and I think the main deadlock is the how you get access to the new spectrum, and it should be a much, much more faster than the current method of um, going to the World Radio Conference, fighting in a national level. This is really stopping an innovation. Yeah, and where are the innovations for better spe spectrum usage then? Well, if you if you think about the spec uh, better spectrum usage, first of all, in you know, application sense, I don't know, and actually we should not care too much. So that's something we should leave for industry and not necessarily for our favorite Ericsson and such. We, we should get more small startups, small companies, innovate, come up with a new unexpected ideas. And if they look good, we should give them a spectrum. A technology sense, there's definitely a kind of problems that the um, spectrum access is highly fragmented. So uh, typically, if you want to have um, global access, it's uh, difficult to find out of the 2.4 gigahertz and cellular bands, something you could build a global service. And this is probably something that engineers have in long term address how we are making a reconfigurable radio front ends that we don't need to any more care. Uh, one last question. Uh, if you had the chance to redesign the whole uh, uh, spectral resources for a new uh, uh, 5G system, uh, how would you do that, the spectrum management? Well, that's a good question because, first of all, my problem with the 5G is that um, it's so loosely defined at the moment, even with an industry, that I don't know even what the 5G is. So that's why I'm a little bit of, of, of hesitant of saying what would be a best way to allocate them for the spectrum because nobody is coming up with a concrete proposal for what they would use a spectrum. But more in a general level, uh, anything which is proposed in the future, whether it's a 5G or new IEEE wireless LAN system, uh, we should embrace more this kind of uh, use it or lose it approach. That we should give a spectrum more flexibly, we try it out, and if it doesn't play out, they don't use it, the market doesn't come, there should be a way for the governments to pull spectrum back and give it for the next trial. So I think this would bring kind of market dynamics into the system. Yeah, thank you very much.